Have you ever talked to a consulting service integrator and they basically have one plug and play architecture they put into any company that pays them? If you point out your specific products, needs, use cases, capabilities, they just sort of hand wave them away and tell you why this is the one architecture that is the best in every possible way. Or better yet, there's two consultants arguing why their architecture is the absolute best. The reality is there's not a silver bullet for everyone's data. Every organization has its own challenges and needs. Of course, there are probably way too many architectures and tools available, but the best solutions for each challenge tend to bubble up to the top. And I think it's great to have so many great teams coming up with unique approaches to solving our data problems. The first architecture problem isn't about technology at all. It's about organization. In the early days of data, people were often tied closer to the business side. Analysts were hired to various teams using Excel to provide insights. As technology grew, many organizations brought data into their IT departments, forming teams around data warehouses, reporting tools, SQL professionals, or Hadoop engineers. Distributed teams have the benefit of being closer to the data users and the business experts, but often result in duplicate work, differing tools in multiple processes. These issues can be solved with a centralized method, but now the data team is further from the business, and there will usually be some sort of ticketing system or prioritizing system that a lot of users don't like. In addition, the centralized team often can't keep up with the pace of new data requests. I worked at one company that reorged from a central to a distributed and then back to a central organization in the span of a few years. Enter Data Mesh. I did a video with more detail, but the idea is each domain, such as HR, finance, product, is responsible for their own data product. They'll find data in their transaction systems, identify what is helpful to the other domains, clean it, export that into central storage, either a warehouse or a lake or a lake house, and implement access controls. They'll also be responsible for consuming other domain data for their own reporting. The engineering team will not be responsible for any of the data knowledge or modeling, they'll just handle the infrastructure to allow all this to happen. Help with integrations and governance. You might hear the term democratize your data. That's exactly what this is. Executives love it, the people on the ground are a bit more skeptical. The reality is most groups and companies don't see their data as a product. Many domains don't want to hire their own analysts or engineers, or they don't know how to hire for these roles. And it's just headcount they might want to use on their primary function. We've seen all the struggles with keeping data catalogs and documentation up to date, coordination across departments, and just the lack of data literacy at most companies. So this might work for certain companies, I'm thinking smaller, very techy ones, but most places struggle to even get a half decent governance plan in place. Data Mesh will require excellent governance processes, and I can't imagine it going well at most places I've been at in my career. So what about platform architecture? There's two general categories, a unified and modular. For a modular design, you pick from a staggering variety of options for either the best in class or best for you specific use case. And it's mostly on you to wire it all together and make your custom platform. AWS mostly works on this model. It has a ton of services with a lot of overlap. The modern data stack also works in this realm with a bunch of products from a variety of different vendors. The advantage is each service or vendor can laser focus on making it the best it can possibly be without worrying about diluting it with a ton of features because they also need to be a complete package product. The downside is the varying capability of all of these things to integrate together. And of course, the architecture team suffering from choice overload. The proposed solution to this is more of a unified platform, one choice that will handle all of your data needs. You don't need to deal with numerous vendors or products, contracts, or service teams. You don't have to worry about how everything integrates together, it just does. You may have heard about this revolutionary design when Microsoft launched Cortana Intelligence Suite, or when Microsoft launched Synapse Analytics, or when Microsoft recently launched Fabric. As you can imagine, it's hard to build a unified platform. Building numerous top-tier products and then ensuring they seamlessly integrate is a big ask for any team. And even if you can accomplish that, it's going to have to generalize enough to appeal to many people, where with a modular design, you can tailor it to your specific needs. Now, should your data platform be focused on streaming or batch data? In the past, you may have a data warehouse that refreshes nightly, and it just took too much time to process so much data. So systems had to be made unavailable during the refresh, and data was gathered and batched throughout the day, and then processed after hours. 
But with modern advancements, cloud computing, scalability, and all other performance improvement, it's become a lot easier to just refresh data and it always be available. I haven't worked anywhere that's been on a daily refresh in a while. It's usually at least hourly for most of the data. And there's now also micro-batching, which is essentially condensing the batch and processing the cycle down to just minutes. And of course, there's streaming, where data events are queued up and pushed directly into the analytical storage as soon as they occur. This solves for the most common question from users, can I get my data faster? I've got an older video on streaming architecture you can check out, and I need to revisit it at some point. So why don't we do everything streaming? Mostly because it takes the source system being designed for it, and not everything can support pushing data. A lot of our data comes from third parties, or it needs some other level of processing first, so it comes in as files or extracted with specific timing, which excludes streaming options. You also run into an issue where your data is being refreshed at differing intervals. So maybe your sales data is in real time, but your logistic data is daily. And as a result, it looks like you're selling things you don't have in stock. So things like that need to be accounted for. I've had cases where we have some data streaming into our raw data layer, but we have to wait for the hourly batch processing to move it into our reporting layer to avoid these kinds of issues. So it's probably just a waste of resources to build out the streaming data layer anyway. The architecture for workloads for analytics and machine learning are pretty different. In the past, this divide was usually building a file-based data lake for data science and a model data warehouse for analytics and reporting. This evolved into trying to handle both with a medallion architecture, a bronze layer with raw data, usually in a data lake, a silver layer with cleaned and modeled data, usually in a data warehouse, and the gold layer, which is aggregated and made business friendly for reporting. There are efforts to integrate these workloads even more, but for now, it's a pretty standard approach to serve both analytics and machine learning. Of course, the overhead here is the cost to develop and maintain support for two mostly distinct workflows. I've had a couple of times where we built out a platform to support non-existent data science because the leadership had big plans for it in the future. And by plans, I mean they thought it sounded cool and we needed to do it, but had no actionable plan for what that would look like. I'm going to have a video soon digging into this topic further, so be sure to watch out for that. But the TLDR is every company needs analytics. Some products need machine learning. You can see there's not a one architecture that fits all solution. You need to evaluate your product needs, your team capabilities, budget, and other unique factors. And we didn't even get into things like code versus no code tools, which I discussed more in this video, so check it out next.